Hello friends, this video on visualizing solid shapes part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now look at the faces, edges and vertices of a pyramid. So what comes to your mind when you think of a pyramid? Uh, the best example would be the pyramids of Egypt. I'm sure you would have seen them in pictures at least. So this is how a pyramid looks like. Now there could be many different types of pyramids again. So let us first talk about a basic pyramid. Now when you look at any pyramid, you have a base, you have one surface which is the base and then on that base you have other surfaces which make the sides of the pyramid. So basically when you look at this image, what do you see? You can see only two surfaces, right? You see one triangle here, this is one triangle and this is another triangle. You just see two triangles. But this is just the front view of the pyramid because you also have triangles like these at the back. So these triangles, they make the sides of the pyramid. That is all these triangles, they, they rise from the base surface and then they meet at a single point at the top. So you see all these surfaces, they meet at a point here. So that is how a pyramid is formed. Now, the base surface is always a polygon. Now this polygon could be a triangle, the polygon could be a quadrilateral, the polygon could be a pentagon, it could be a hexagon. So the base could be a polygon of any number of sides, two, three sides, four sides, five sides, six sides or seven sides. But the faces, that is the sides, the sides are always triangles. But as the base changes, the number of triangles which form the sides, that also changes. So what do I mean by that is, let's talk about, the, in the first scenario, let us talk about a triangular base pyramid. So this is a triangular base pyramid. That means the base of the pyramid is triangular. So a triangular base pyramid would be somewhat like this. This portion is the base. So this is your base and on this base, you have three surfaces going up and meeting at a point here. So what are those three surfaces? Surface number one. So this is your surface number one in light green color. This is surface number two, so which is at the back. So this is at the side, this is at the back and you have this surface number three, which is yellow, which is in the front. So basically this light green, dark green and yellow, these are the three triangular surfaces which arise from the base and meet at a point here and that is how they make this pyramid. Now if I ask you how many faces are there in this pyramid? So in this pyramid you have one triangular base plus you have three triangular side faces. So total you have four faces and all of these four faces are triangles. So at least in this particular pyramid all the four faces are triangles. Okay, so this is called, a, this is the triangular base. Let me write it here. Now, what about edges? How many edges are there? So, you will have an edge between every two faces. So, when you look at this image, you see this is one edge. So, let's name this figure. Let's call this A, B, C, D. So, what are the edges? So AB is an edge because AB is a side that connects one surface, the yellow surface with the dark green surface. Similarly, AC is an edge. In a similar way, BD is an edge because BD connects the base surface, that is the base triangle with this triangle, ABD. So BD is also an edge. You also have CD as an edge, right? What else? You also have AD as an edge and you have BC as an edge. So these are the various sides which connect the faces. So how many edges do you have? You have six edges. What about vertices? How many points do you see here which connects edges? So one point is A, second point is B, third point is C and fourth point is D. So you basically have four points. Now do you think this is also a point? No, that's because this is just a virtual line that we have drawn. The two lines seem to intersect at this point but they are actually not intersecting. So this is one line is drawn dotted. Now dotted line means that that line is either in front or at the back. So something which is not visible but virtually that line exists. So basically this is not a point where two lines are actually meeting. So how many points do you have? Four. So that means in a triangular pyramid, you have 
four faces, six edges and four vertices. Now what about some other type of pyramid? Let us think of a pyramid which has a quadrilateral base. That means the base in this pyramid is no more a triangle. Instead, it is a quadrilateral. So just observe the base in this case. So do you think this base is a triangle? Definitely not. It is a quadrilateral. So let us name this. This is A, B, C and D. So A, B, C, D is the quadrilateral base of this pyramid. And you see the quadrilateral has four sides. And from each side you have one one surface which is going up. One one triangle basically. So from every side one one triangle is going up. And all of them are meeting at this point E. And that is how this pyramid is formed. So what are the side surfaces? Now if I ask you how many faces are there? So definitely there is one quadrilateral base plus how many side faces? This is one side face which is at the back. Second would be this one. Third would be this one. And fourth would be this one. So yellow, blue, dark green and light green. They make the four triangular faces. So total you have five faces out of which four are triangles and the base is a quadrilateral okay what about edges how many edges do you have so in this case you see ae is a, an edge ec is an edge ad is an edge cd is an edge ed is an edge so these are some of the edges which are very obviously seen which are seen from the front view only now when you look at these virtual lines which are actually not meeting with the real lines but the virtual lines and the virtual lines are actually meeting because both of those lines are at the back. So they are actually meeting with each other, right? So that means EB is also an edge, BC is also an edge and AB is also an edge. So how many do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So you have a total of 8 edges. And what about vertices? How many points do you see here? Obviously 1, 2, 3, 4, these 4 points are obvious. Point B is also obvious because the virtual lines, all these virtual lines, they actually meet there. When I say virtual lines, that does just means that since those are the lines which are not visible from the front view, so we are drawing it in uh, dotted line. But actually those lines are also present there and they are also meeting at point B. So total vertices would be 5. Now one interesting thing that we observe here is both 1 and 2, they are both pyramids. The first one is a pyramid with triangular base. The second one is a pyramid with quadrilateral base. Now as the number of sides in the base changes, the number of faces, edges and vertices in the pyramid also changes because the entire structure of the pyramid changes. Right. So th this gives you a better idea about how do you find out how many faces or how many edges are present in any three dimensional shape. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.